YouTube. Hopefully you all had a happy New Year's. Uh, I know I definitely did. This week, what we are gonna do, so the goal this week is to rip, is to rip out the 8.8 out of this uh, new edge here. You guys remember it's the Ultimate 8.8 built 373 gears. Um, I'm hoping it has 35 spline axles. It might have 31 though. Um, I've never pulled it apart to see. So that's the goal. We're gonna try to rip out this 8.8 this weekend. Um, and then we're also gonna go to Cars and Coffee. They're gonna have food and a ton of exotic cars. It's always cool to go the see new that. edge is still here because uh, I don't know why it's still here. I kind of don't want to let it go. This is kind of my baby. And uh, there's a lot of hard work in this and a lot of hard top processing into this car. Uh, you know, we got my first motor that I ever got to buy, like on my own, a big, a nice motor, not a big motor. So this tube is the driver's side tube and it looks bent. Now you can kind of see it. It's, it is bent for sure. There's no looks, it's definitely bent, but the assumption here is since it is ripped off from the four link, it's basically ripped all the way under here, just from the wreck. And what I'm gonna do is pull this out and hopefully cut the tube off. Cause this has to be shortened to fit in Sonoma. The Sonoma has to be 54 inches. This is 60 inches, I believe. Um, but it's definitely not 54, so it has to be shortened. So the assumption is, is that I'm gonna cut the tube off, put an axle in it. This is probably fine. Um, and then I'll be able to put this because all of this goes away and it's just going to go, it's just going to go on the leaf spring setup. And then we'll put some ladder bars or cow tracks on it in the truck. Now it does have that rear, it does have the 373. Uh, it's got a spool in it with uh, 35 spine axles, I, like I said. Um, and then I'll be able to run the Bellix and all the wheels that we have. Trans was ordered last night. So that's on its way and it'll be here sometime between Monday and Friday of next week from California. Uh, hopefully me and dad get this 8.8 out of here um, and I'll send it to either Midnight Fabrication Adam who tunes the truck and tune this car. Guy is great, tunes me and Scott's and uh, hopefully he can get it, hopefully he can cut it short and maybe help me out with the welding, the tube back on and getting a new axle. So now it's Friday, we're out here at the car wash, getting the lift washed up, I just washed the flatty. I haven't washed my car in about uh, two months, so it's well overdue. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know what we have planned for tonight. Probably nothing. But uh, tomorrow's part of the coffee. We might go to a meet tonight. So if we do, uh, I'll film a little bit of that. Basically, this video is just going to be what I'm doing this weekend. Like I said, trying to rip out the 8-8, part of the coffee. Uh, we just need to meet up today out of nowhere, really. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. Just trying to get a bunch of clips. This Fox body pulling out of here. We've come to the racetrack. About to watch Scott make some passes, get ready for the no prep in January. I don't have a wristband, so I don't know if they're going to yell at me tonight.
I didn't think it was going to turn over. I was busy trying to get Megan and Richie out of the way. That is insane that I just seen that like in front of my face. Like they wrecked right where we were standing. That was wild. The guy's all right. He got out. There's fuel everywhere though. That's wild. I'm like astonished right now. I feel so bad because everybody's standing around him. But holy, holy moly, dude. That was fucking insane. Look where he ended up, and he was on his lid, and it spun. It smacked the wall way up there first, before it ever even got down here. I mean, we were standing over here. I don't know. Oh, right here. We're standing right here when that happened. That was insane. All right. 8-8 is out. As you can see, something is bent. Thought it was only one side. It might be two sides, but whatever. Adam's going to pick it up this weekend. Take it, shorten it, throw some axles in it, give it back, and we'll throw it in the truck. We'll be back racing in no time. Took a whole lot of cutting. Had to cut that off because the bolt won't come out. But the new edge is officially stripped of everything. Never had a car this stripped before. Kind of sad to see. But that's pretty much the video. Next video, the trans will be here. And uh, we can get started on swapping everything from the broken trans into the new trans case. And, uh, yep, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Maybe I'll put this here at the end of the video as well. Um, I do have brand new LMR New Edge um, black housing tail or headlights and brand new taillights. Uh, I have two sets. I have uh, this cluster. We still have the hood. It does have a hole cut in it from the high ram. I have the black trunk and two black doors. That The driver's side needs a mirror, but other than that, or and this uh, Cobra fender right here, side skirts, uh, whatever you see, if you want, and you're in Florida, hit me up. Um, I'm probably not gonna ship it, but if you're anywhere near me, um, feel free to hit me up. I have that cluster, some trim. It has a dash and the dash is gutted, but like I have this piece and you would just have to Either put the, that piece together, it's one plastic bezel. And like I said, like this is all the normal trim. So I'll throw this in at the end of the video just if anybody wants. Uh, also the K-member, I'll sell the K-member with the control arms and everything if you want to fix this or I'll take the control arms off and sell these separately. Uh, let me know.